Now let's understand how do we measure the focal length of the convex mirror using the convex lens. So what do we have over here? We are having two pins. I'm going to call this as object pin and I'm going to call the other pin as the image pin. All right. This is our convex lens which is mounted on an optical bench. So this is our optical bench. In this entire experiment, after getting the image, we will not change the position of the object pin, the convex lens as well as the image pin. So what happened was from the tip of the object pin, two incident rays, they came out, they got converged from the convex lens and finally they formed a real image of that red pin over here. So the image of the red pin, which was real and inverted was formed at this point. Correct. Now I'm going to set an image pin exactly under it because sometimes if you want to measure the distance from the lens to this image, you can't do that because the image is real and it is in the air. You don't know where it is, right? You can't catch that image. So we are going to place an image needle or image pin under it, remove the parallax error. Now the distance from the convex lens to that of the image pin is the same distance between the convex lens and the image of the red pin. Now guys, I just want to make you make one point very clear. If you watch from here, then the image of the red pin will be visible over here. But if you watch from here, then the image of the yellow pin will be formed over here. This will be the real image of yellow pin over here. Right, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I chose to see from this side. So this is my object pin, the convex lens and the image pin. All right, then I removed the parallax error. Now in the next case, I had placed a convex mirror. By trial and error method somewhere over here, right? Now why trial and error method that is very much important for us to understand that two rays came from here. Now those two rays are going to fall on the after converging from the lens, they are going to fall on the mirror, right? Now, if they fall exactly perpendicular to the mirror, that means these incident rays will retrace its own path. And finally, the image of the red pin will be formed exactly over it. Let us understand how, right? So, over here, we have an incident ray, which is white in color falling on the convex mirror. Now it is falling on the convex mirror such that if you extend it backwards, they meet center of curvature. So at the point of incidence, if you draw the normal, the normal also passes through C. So the angle of incidence is 0 degree. So the angle of reflection should be 0 degree. So the rays will retrace its own path. In the same way, that is what is happening over here. So we are going to get, now if this will only be true, if this mirror, if this mirror and the rays are perpendicular. So, this incident rays fall such that they make 90 degrees and that is only possible if you extend it backwards and this point is the center of curvature, right? So, the rays will retrace its own path and the image of that red pin will be formed over here and for that my eyes must be over here and that is what used to happen. So, that means we have confirmed that this convex mirror, right, is present at and is present on the optical bench and this image pin is exactly at the center of curvature, right? Because exactly over this uh, image, I mean the object pin, you are getting its real and inverted image exactly above it, right? Which means that this distance is the radius of curvature and radius of curvature is the difference between these two. So, radius of curvature is 85.8 minus 54 centimeters. So, this is 31.8 centimeter and the radius of curvature divided by 2 is the focal length of the convex mirror. So, that is 31.8 divided by 2. So, this is 15.9 centimeters. That is the real focal length of the convex mirror. So, in case of the diverging system, whether it is a lens or a mirror, we need to take the help of some another lens to measure its focal length. Right. So, this is how we measure the focal length. 
if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section actually the focal length was 15 centimeters but uh, you know human errors are always possible in the practical so if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section thank you very much for watching the video